Hey guys, this is Maduba John from MJC Designs. Welcome to today's video tutorial. Today, I'm going to show you guys how I create my fence. I want to create a fence for a project. Now, this is a shape I created. As you can see, I just created a box. Yeah, I created a box and then cut it. Subtract here. Subtract here. here. Okay, and then I select these parts. Okay, just like so. So that was how I created the shape. Okay, now I want to create a design on this. So this is going to be a face of the fence. So I want to create a design on this particular fence. So what we'll do is I am going to use this particular profile which I had created. I will show you the profile. This is the profile. Okay, so it has to be like this, like this, so you can use it on plan properly. So close, just draw this mode here like this. is what we want okay now I, I i love to do it on the plan so that i will just convert to object and just multiply that's that's the essence of doing it on the plan mode so i'm going to create a decor like this Okay, so now I'm going to use this one right here, which I created is a smaller version of the other mode I created, which is this. No, not this. This profile too. So you can see it's a smaller version of that I created. So it has curve here. You can also create curve here if you want to. And I will go and use it. And I will use it here on this. Okay. Now we have this established. And then I want to put coping here. I'm going to create a coping right now and put it here. Now, mind you, the thickness of this wall is 2 to 5. So, once you use something, something beyond 2 to 5, I'm going to probably use this as a coping. Uh, I'm just select it and edit. Then, before you edit, you have to duplicate because we want to create another one. Okay. Now, you can see the distance from here to here is 150 okay and i want to scale it i want to make it 250 okay 250 now this is 250 so you save all right now the difference the difference i'm going to show you something i would use this change it to the profile 3 and then take this and put it here now this is just what we need I'm going to delete this this is just what we need but as you can i'm going to show you what everything i've been doing what it looks like on the plan plan uh, on the 3d mode rather so i prefer i prefer using this to work let's change all this 
to something maybe white. Okay. And then this is uh, what we've been working on. Let's just push it back. Good. This is the face I want. As you can, this is the face I want. But for this, this is not what I want. I want it to turn the other way. I want it to turn the other. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the position on the orientation on the I'm going to change the, the orientation here. Let's see what it gives us. As you can see, so this is so easy. And then we drag, make sus on suspense so that we can drag everything. We have this here i don't know what measurement it is let's measure and see the distance okay so we're just going to take like half of it and push it back good we can if the we can also on suspend if you want to edit then you edit okay and then we scale it it was 250 before that. i want to add 25 to it now let's choose 75 and you save so i'm going to suspend the group so it fix everything take it back to this point and take it back again by 25. Our fence face, the face of the fence is coming out. So I'm going to now put, you get, I'm going to put uh, maybe a face here material here and a different material here okay so we are going to use the slab for that or we divide the slab instead i'll divide it instead Okay, so let's give it another color. Something we we don't have. Let's give it this. And then we are going to also use our magic wand to make sure your slab is selected and then hold on your shift down and click this. Okay, so we have this right here and we have changed this. So we are going to look at what it gives us. This is it right here, and we're going to change the thickness 25, and then I'll bring it up by 25. So, so we have this right here. This is our face. This is our the face of the the fence. Okay, face of the fence. This is how the back look like. Just in case this is not closing up, this close it. Okay. Close it. And that's fine. So this is what we want our face to look like. Okay. And then when you're done with this, you can make a copy of it. 
somewhere around here convert to morph okay everything is converted to morph you can then combine the union using your building operation to combine everything okay now let's see what we have on our 3d it's easier for me to create it like this so i'm going to now come rotate it now we have it like an entity we can always save us go to file go to library and object save us save as object just go give it fence okay so if you go to your object you see it right there that's it right there so we can always go and place it wherever we want but before we do yep then you place it like it's like so well you make sure have your columns placed at the right position so give it 450 by 450 we need the height to be 3000 and then we can add a segment to it let's say this we can make the height well, let's say 550 by 550 okay so now the percentage uh let's make it 10 or oh, five okay or we can add one more segment if we think we want to put more step this one will make it 600 by 600 sorry 550 by 550 and this segment will make it 600 by 600 and then we make this 5% we make this 5% okay as you can see okay, let's take this out a bit 650 by 650 so this is okay and this we have to change the color to something different like so okay so we have our columns established okay this is multi-segment multi-segment type of columns okay so we say okay uh, click click here we have it right there looks like the copings are too too big we are going to just reduce the coping reduce these two okay mm -hmm. so we can always multiply Three thousand four thousand three hundred, like
uh, difference as you can see we have our friends established let me show you guys let me show you guys the the, the, the project I was working on okay so this is it the project meant to be built somewhere in the east Nigeria so thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye bye.